Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just finished filming the what is on my iPhone tag. So if you are interested in seeing what I have on my phone, you can stay tuned and watch the video. If you have any app recommendations or notice that I'm missing something, like an app that I just need to have in my life, then please let me know in the comments down below. I love trying out new apps, especially if they're free. This is my iPhone. I have just the iPhone 5. Uh, so I'm sure you have all seen an iPhone 5 before. I have this Kate Spade case on mine. Um, I'm not sure if they still sell this one. I will link it down below if they do. But this one's really good because it has its two pieces. So it really protects the sides. So I'll show you really quick. My It's the white one if you didn't notice. It has this edge that goes around it to protect it and then the back snaps on and it's really cute it's like live colorfully kate spade and this is actually a gift from colin for our anniversary so that is the outside of my iphone um kate spade cases are really expensive and they do make similar ones so i thought i would just show you one that is similar so this one is by nicole miller i just showed this in my haul it also has this protective part that pops around the phone to keep the edges protected. Nicole Miller, I bought this at Target for $19 and they she had tons of cute designs. So I picked this one. They definitely will still have this available. I got it like three weeks ago. So yeah, right now I'm just using my Kate Speed one, but this is a great alternative. The only thing is this is a little more bulky than the Kate Speed one. I don't know if you can tell. I really like how thin this makes my phone because I don't like bulkier cases, but this one's still really cute. So to get on with apps, this is my home screen, it's just this cute picture of me and Colin, and then this is my home screen. So top row I have calendar, mail, passbook, and videos. I really don't use videos, I do use passbook, I have Sephora, Starbucks, which I have no money, and scene. Mail, I use mail, and calendar, occasionally, Facebook. I do have a Facebook page now, it's facebook.com slash Murdoch Talk, so if you want to follow me over there, that would be lovely. Twitter, my Twitter handle is at Ash Murdoch. Camera, I obviously use. Instagram, I am obsessed. Again, my handle is at Ash Murdoch. iTunes Store, Google Maps, I use for directions all the time. The Weather Network, Notes, Telus account to see how much data I've used. Contacts, clock, which is my alarm every morning. I actually have a really cool alarm tone. I'm going to play it because I bought it. And I'm really lame. But I love it. Anyways, that's the iPhone remix. And yes, I do get up at 6.53 every morning to get ready for work. Um, what else? FaceTime, I do use regularly. This transit app is great because the town where I go to university, you can see all the routes and get directions and stuff. I don't know how many other places have that, but photos, obviously use, app store, settings, and in my bottom row here, I have mess music, messages, safari, and phone. It always annoys me when people put their messages like up here where it's supposed to go because you can get it on any page. Your messages are like the most important thing. But anyways, I only have two pages. I don't like a lot of clutter. So on this next page, I have newsstand, reminders, utilities is a folder that I just put. Compass, voice memos, find my friends, find my iPhone, which is really great. That is like the best app ever. You can play a sound. If your iPhone's in the room and you don't know where it is, help me out quite a few times. Crappy maps, I much prefer Google. Same with weather, I much prefer the weather network. Game Center, I don't even know. I wish I could delete it. iBooks, read, I have read full books on my iPhone before. Shazam, great to find songs. And stocks is just whatever. Then I have calculator, which I need a calculator for everything because I suck at math. Facebook Messenger. YouTube, Boxer, which is like a walkie-talkie app kind of thing, um, Snapchat, my bank, 2D Canada, BBM, because my mom still has a Blackberry and insists that we BBM her, uh, LinkedIn for professional network, 
Um, this is a countdown, and it's currently counting down to the Boots and Hearts Festival with Collins, so hence the kissing picture. Um, in the shopping folder, I have Sephora, um, a university bookstore, you can sell your books online, Pizza Pizza, Cineplex, Starbucks, Checkout 51. This app is really cool. And basically, like it says, buy groceries, get cash back. It is like a coupon, kind of, and if it would load, each week it tells you all the offers. So if you buy any brand of yogurt, you get 25 cents back. Um, ben and Jerry's ice cream. There's some really good stuff on here, and all you do is you scan your receipt down here. You upload a receipt, and it gives you money back. So I have... Whoops. I have $32, and once you hit $20, which I have you can cash out and they will basically mail you a check to your home which is really cool and great if you want to save money because who does not want to save money and there's tons of stuff and it updates every Thursday and it's really great and it does work my roommates and I have tried it and a check does come so anyways Netflix The Hunt The Hunt is really cool if you want to find something like this person wants to see cute bathing suits. So if you have a picture of something like on Pinterest or a store that you want something similar that's less expensive, you can click it. Oops, Colin just sent me a message. Click it and it will, people in the hunt will hunt for your product and they will send you pictures of similar ones or exact ones to the actual link from the website. And yeah, it's really great. I have the liquor store, which is just so I can find out what alcohol is where. I'm not an alcoholic, it's just handy. And I have Waze, which is a traffic app. And basically, people just post where there's accidents and stuff. Like what's over here. There's a vehicle stopped on the shoulder, so it just lets you know about traffic and stuff. Next, I have my health folder, which is this yoga studio. I got this one for free from one of those Starbucks free apps that's actually you're supposed to pay. Runkeeper, Nike Runny, Nike Running, Calm, and Sleep Cycle. Sleep Cycle is probably my favorite out of all these. I put it every night, and it keeps track of your sleep. So last night I had an 82% sleep, and I've been doing it forever. And it keeps track of your sleep and when you wake up. And your deep sleep, like this night I had a really deep sleep, but it was really crappy because I only got 55% and 8 hours. So I've been doing it for 79 nights, and it's really cool. I think you have to pay for that one though, but it's worth it. Um, photography, I'll get into that one last. Game folder, I do not play a lot of games on my iPhone. I just have Tetris, Ellen's Head It Up, Traffic Rush, Quiz Up. Flow Free, Cube Runner, 2048, I did beat it and I'm addicted. Megopolis, I played that straight for a year and a half. I don't know why I was so obsessed, but I haven't played it in a while. And Piano Tiles, this is my current favorite. I do arcade, go away. Normal. And it just moves and you can't touch the white. But anyways. Or you, you miss one. So anyways, those are my games. I don't have anything else there. And then at the bottom, I just have Pinterest, Blogger, Blog Lovin', and Vine. I don't really use Vine anymore. But at Ash Murdoch, if you want to follow me on there. And my favorite folder is the photography folder. Dun, dun, dun. So right now, my current editing obsessions is Afterlight and Rookie. So Afterlight, I just got recently, and you do have to pay for it, but I've been loving, loving to edit, so let's just pick one. These are all these selfies I was sending to Colin today. So let's just pick this one. I look really creepy, and I wanted to pull my hair out at work, hence the picture. So I'm going to use this picture, and then at the bottom, you can do, like, brightness. I'll do that. Contrast, if you want to edit the contrast a little bit. Then this colorful one, you have all these cool filters. So my favorite one's Russ. And it just gives that like antique effect. And then over here, you can do all the light leaks and stuff. So my favorite is number 24 here. This is really hard. I'm looking at my phone through my viewfinder. So it just adds, and you can adjust everything the way you want it. So I've just done that, and then if you wanted to add a border or crop it, you can do all that down here. And it's really awesome because you can add 
oh no, border is over here, sorry. All these different cool things, but if you want to add, like if it was a portrait picture and you wanted to make it like fit in the square, it would you just add this big border around it. This one's cool. A lot of Instagrammers do it like this and leave it. I call them Instagrammers like it's their job. <laughs> a lot of people on Instagram leave it like this and that's cool, but you can do so many things like that. Square ready is when you want your picture to be in a square. So if it is a portrait picture like I was saying, so you just pick a picture that's up and down. Let me find one. Here's a cute one of me and Colin. And you just make it so it's a square, just like that. And then you can take that to Instagram and edit it, or pre-edit it, and then bring it in here. Um, pic collage is one of my favorites. It takes a lot of time to do, but you can trace around all these different pictures and make a legit collage. So, this is currently Colin's screensaver on his phone, I believe. So I made this a while ago. Um, diptych, it's like photo frames, so all these different shapes, there's tons of them, really cool, don't use that too often, a beautiful mess, I love these bloggers, they're in awesome blogs, but again, you can just do cool collages out of here. Um, Rookie, my other current favorite photo editing app, let's just find another picture one of these crazy ones and it has some really awesome filters so clean portrait has some of my faves um, just a lot of light effects there we go but they have all these different filters and they're pretty cool so that's rookie and you can do other stuff in there just like any other editing app pick FX used to be my favorite. Here's all my selfies that I've taken recently. Um, I don't really use that one that much anymore, but it's still cool. You can do some cool light effects. Lumi is basically all lighting effects. I haven't used this in so long. It doesn't even have access to my photos. Yeah, I haven't used it in so long, but it's a good app if you like adding light effects to your pictures. And repost is just like retweeting a picture on Instagram. Anyways, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what that is. So that is what's on my iPhone. It's really not that exciting. Um, settings wise, I love, I don't know why that's off, that always has to be on, I hate when I turn my phone and it all goes sideways and stuff, but yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see y'all real soon. Thanks for watching, bye!